Hello people, I'm going to build something special today. Certainly someone called Lucy wants to uh, paint some space marines in a Christmas theme and I'm not going to disappoint you. If that's what Lucy wants, that's what Lucy gets. Uh, I haven't done it before, um, but I'm going to have a go and uh, see how crazy this actually turns out. Um, these are paints we're going to use. I am not going to do a beautifully wonderful competition winning paint job by any means, um, but this is where I'm going to start. Uh, going to use my Mephiston Red, give it a quick base coat and these are the colours I'm going to use. So I have got my Blizzard for my base, my Gold, my Silver which is Lead Belcher, White Scar, Corax White, Moot Green, Warpstone Glow, Wild Rider Red, some more Mephiston Red and the number one important thing which is Agrax uh, Shade. Um, so um, okay Lucy, if you're ready, this one is for you. Right, so I've just given him a, uh, let's get it focused. Uh, put him together at this stage here. I'm going to leave his backpack off. Yes, he's still got his Ultramarine symbol on the side because he's come from uh, the Imperial magazine. Uh, Marines that I probably won't be using. Uh, I'm not going to uh, sand that off. You can if you want to. Um, but I'm just going to leave it just to uh, show you how I would do such a thing. Um, yeah, so I'm going to spray his arm separately. I've uh, given everything a sanding down just to make sure it's nice and clean. I'll spray all these separately. I am literally going to go straight to the Mephiston Red. Um, what I am thinking of doing actually is using a little bit of green stuff, completely optional, but this will give it a little bit more flavor, I think. So um, I'll go and get my green stuff out and I will show you uh, the next step. Right, gonna make something really quick out of green stuff. I'm not gonna do a tutorial on how to use it, um, but basically you mix the two together you go squish, squish, squish and shape it into whatever you like. So I'm going to make something a little bit special to uh, put on this Marine to make him completely clear to everybody that this is a Christmas Space Marine. So I will jump to the next stage, uh, which will probably be ready for painting, maybe show you some other bits and pieces, and then we'll get started on the good stuff. Okay, he's got his little Santa hat on now. Sorry for the focus, I'll try and get it as good as I can. But uh, right, next thing to do is get the Mephiston red and we'll give him a spray. Right, that's the next stage done. So all I have done after assembling the model, letting it dry for a little bit, is to spray it with that Mephiston red. So it's come out quite nice. It's a nice smooth coat. Some people um, will tell you, spray them black, spray them white and put a couple of layers of paint on there. But I think when starting out, I think uh, using a colour spray for the predominant uh, colour that your model is going to be is a really, really good start. You can airbrush it as well if you really want to, but using the rattle cans when you're just starting out painting is the way to go. Um, I'll probably stick his arm on. I'll leave the backpack off because it's a press-on fit. Uh, even if it wasn't, I would, uh, I would glue that on later. Um, so I am going to pick some colours and I'm going to uh, start painting. Uh, tip number one, clean brush. Clean water, it's just out of shot there. Uh, make sure your brush is wet before you start. And now we are going to do some painting. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my Agrax Earthshade. Now I'm using it straight from the pot. I'm not thinning it down or doing anything fancy with it. Uh, I'm gonna use um, my little uh, Army Painter paint palette here. Make sure I've got a nice tip on the brush and don't have too much actually on there. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do, if I can see exactly what I'm doing, is to paint all the recesses. If I can get it all focused, that'll be quite nice. I have to excuse the cat, the cat decides to walk past. So what we're going to do is we're going to paint all of the parts uh, down behind the knees. We're going to paint all these parts over here. We're going to do all the parts around the back. The parts that we're going to do next will be... Uh, around here, I know the, uh, the brush isn't focused, I'm not putting the brush on it just yet, just to show you all of the areas where the shade naturally forms on the model, we're just going to do a nice little thin coat of that, we're going to do it in here, we're gonna, we'll probably do it around the knees, although I might do some other colours for the knees, it'll evolve as it goes, all these little panel lines on the armour that we're going to do all behind those parts there on the shoulder, and if I can get it to focus again, uh, we will do focus. We're going to do all the parts on his uh, on his helmet as well so um, that's the way I'm going to work it 
oh finally we've got some focus going that's brilliant so we'll do all these little areas around here around here around here don't cover the whole thing in wash because that's not really going to work out too well for you although we will be uh, touching up with the Mephisto red and uh, making all our uh, paint jobs nice and neat so I'm going to start doing some washing and then that's the next uh, stage starting okay and that's the uh, basic shading done on the model on all the way to this area you can see where it's still shiny because it hasn't uh, dried really important to shake the uh, the wash pot up otherwise it can come out glossy um, but that's the uh, basic shading on the marine so I'll finish all the other bits and pieces off and then we'll do some uh, some colour details right so um, I've done some base coating to some knee pads green gun green I've started I'm not great at freehanding but I've started to do the uh, spirals on there hats got some colour on it now um, yeah that's uh, some of the base coating I know it's gonna differ from uh, how uh, Lucy does her Space Marines but um, I don't know Santa's Legion's first company or something I guess maybe these guys are elites who knows um, so I'm gonna carry on doing some more base coating uh, then we'll just do some uh, some highlighting and some basing and it's it's battle ready really and um, that's just what I want to show off um, a quick and dirty way of doing it you can take more time do it faster than me you know I've spent about an hour since I've decided to start doing it painting it really so um yeah let's uh, let's see how it goes on to the next stage right next thing on the list for the marine then uh, I forgot to show a color actually I am going to shade uh, the green areas with a thonian uh, camo shade uh, I'll then uh, mix these two together to do a first round of uh, highlights and I will do some edge highlighting uh, with mood green so that's going to be my uh, my green I'll touch up uh, the white areas with some white scar just to uh, bring them out a little tiny bit I will shade the gold areas with Agrex shade and I will probably find something to shade the white with on the hat maybe just to um, just to bring that out a little bit I'll probably find some brown like a rhinox hide or something and do some gold trim on there and then we'll jump on to the next part and we'll see how he has progressed right so I've done a very basic paint job on this guy now I've put some of the Valhalla and Blizzard um, I did actually put a base coat on the uh, before I put that on of um, Temple Guard blue just to show a little bit of blue coming up through the ice if uh, that's something that you fancy doing uh, yeah so I shaded the knee pads and I've given my highlight with some moot green I've done the same on the uh, on the bolt gun as well uh, the uh, the hat has been given a shade of rust grey uh, with some white scar uh, over the top of that I decided to do the uh, pistol holster and uh, some gold on there as well uh, what did I use for that dried bark I think I used for that one um, so he's got his symbol on his side, can't do anything about the ultramarine symbol, but it is just a, a proof of concept to see what my interpretation of a, a Christmas space marine uh, would look like. So I'm going to leave him to dry. Um, I did uh, put uh, another green, a Death Guard green on the base there, just to give it a bit of a, a darker green, just to, to break it up a little bit. But um, yeah, that's uh, basically battle ready, and that's my uh, interpretation. Oh, look gunky stuff on my fingers already that's my interpretation of a uh, of a uh, Christmas space marine so uh, this is just for you Lucy so uh, you've got some inspiration um, I would always advise going for Mephisto on red spray um, when you're starting if you're gonna do something red rather than black and some thin coats good skill to learn definitely but um, choosing your colors and doing all the exciting part of the painting I think that's probably in my opinion where I think you need to start. So um, that's my take on the uh, Christmas Space Marine. So I'd, uh, I'd like to thank uh, Liam Dempsey on his channel. Uh, please uh, follow Liam, uh, come and join us on Fridays for beer and banter if, uh, if you want some more uh, 40K content. And uh, also check out deploymentzone.tv, DZTV, because um, that's a gang um, that we're part of. If you want any uh, content for your Warhammer 40,000, it's uh, absolutely packed with stuff. So if you want to get into uh, all of this hobby, then uh, do check them out. So that was it. Just a really quick, uh, quick, dirty video just to see uh, if I could actually do this, if it was even going to work. Um, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.